Doncic with 31 on Saturday. Clippers 11 for four. Dallas really shot it much better from three-point range. All right, so let's check out what happened on Tuesday. First quarter, Mavs up four. Doncic drives past Paul George, throws it down on Marcus Morris. All nine of his first quarter points came when Paul George was his primary defender. And not a good sign for the Clippers when Doncic is going off like that on George. Later in the first quarter, Kawhi Leonard for three. And then Leonard, floater and the foul. Leonard, 18 points in the first quarter, playoff career high for any quarter. The Mavericks up 35-33 after one. Midway through the second quarter, Clippers trailing 53-51. Paul George crossing up Chris Dapps Porzingis. That got everybody going on, on social media. Uh, got Patrick Patterson going, just, oh my God. <laughs> the Clippers bench couldn't believe it. A little, little in and out burger for Porzingis for Paul George. George was 17 points at halftime. All right, under 2.30 to go in the second quarter. Mavs by two. Doncic for three. And the Mavs up by five. 37 seconds left to the first half, tied at 68. Leonard with the answer. Finishes with 30 first half points. First Clippers player with 30 points in a playoff half over the last 25 postseasons. But ensuing possession for the Mavericks, Tim Hardaway Jr. for three. Clippers up 73-71. Very high score in first half. Third time in NBA postseason history. Both teams reached 70 points by halftime. Let's go third quarter. Mavericks by four. Doncic gets Leonard to go under the screen. That creates room for the three. The Mavericks up by seven. Dallas doing it from three-point range. Big in this game once again. Then Doncic backing down Leonard, fading away, knocking it down. That's a great on-the-ball on defender, but Doncic able to shoot over him. Under 40 seconds to go. Doncic looking for the two-for-one. Off balance, but on target with a three-pointer. The Mavericks bench can't believe it. Doncic putting on a show. 35 points through three quarters. Mavericks up 101-92 through the third quarter. Now, last game, Doncic pretty quiet in the fourth. So we go into the fourth. Morris knocking down the three Clippers back within five. Doncic aggressive. Lays it in over Patrick Beverly. Mavericks looking to pull away. Two minutes to go. Mavs up seven. Porzingis. Defensive breakdown for the Clippers. And he winds up with a dunk. Later, just over a minute left, the Mavericks up four, Hardaway. Long range three, knocks it down to put Dallas up seven with under a minute left. And the Mavericks hold on to win it by six, 127 to 121. So Luka Doncic averages the sixth most points per game through eight playoff games by any player in NBA history. The only guys in front of him are Hall of Famers and LeBron James. All right, so Vince, the Clippers have a serious problem here, and his name is Luka Doncic, and they don't seem to have an answer. They got two great defenders in Paul George and Kawhi Leonard, but it doesn't seem to matter right now. They have great defenders. They have very good defenders, and he's seen them all and scored on them all. And right now, what is helping them is the other players. Hardaway Jr. shooting threes, Porzingis. I mean, the, his supporting cast is making the game easier for him because you can't double when they are hitting shots as well. So you have to make a decision. Are you just going to double them and let other guys have big games? Or are you just going to let everyone have a big game? And when you do that, you cannot beat the Dallas Mavericks. Meanwhile, for the Clippers, I mean, Kawhi Leonard was fantastic in this game. Oh. Uh, but just... Some of the other guys enough. around Leonard and Paul George, what do they have to do? They need some scoring. I mean, you, you, of course, you get a big game from Paul George uh, and, and, and a big game from Kawhi, but who else? Somebody's going to have to step up and give you something, and then that's when they have a chance. But right now, they, they did not take care of home. Now you're going to Dallas, up down to 0-2. You're going to need somebody to step up other than your, your big stars. Uh, down two at home. Yes. Tough to come back from that. I mean, do, do, do you see a path for the Clippers? I, of, of winning? Yeah, winning the series now. It's, it's tough now. <laughs> it's tough. <laughs> uh, when, you, when you can't win at home, I mean, you, you, obviously you want some road kill. That's always what you talk about. Just get one. They just have, I mean, the, game three is important to them. You have to get one or it's, 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 it could be a sweep. All right, we got another game to talk about from the East. We got the Celtics and the... Little tip, okay? Uh, the little Fashion tip, my brother. Police.
That's right. I'm okay. Just, I, I, hey, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, Stephen. I got to take baby steps. Okay. I got I'm, you. I'm I got you. I'm, oh, yeah, I threw, oh. Hey, look, look. I threw away the gold chain. All right. Okay. I threw away the t-shirts. I'm right. coming more suit and ties. Oh, no, 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 I'm no, a step. No. I'm a step. Oh, I got you. I, like I promised you I was gonna take you out for a few shirts. I got you. <laughs> I got you. I got what? you. What Me you and you, baby, time? during the finals. We gonna do that. I'm gonna take you shopping. Now let's go to this. The Clippers, man. The Clippers. Let me let me tell you something right now. Max, KP, when is somebody when is when is Kawhi Leonard gonna step up and remind us of what the elite defender it is that he's supposed to be? Mm -hmm. Last time we saw him in the postseason prior to this weekend, Jamal Murray was dropping 40 in a game seven. Before that, even though they beat the Dallas Mavericks in the playoffs. Was not that was, was that not Luka Doncic's coming out party in terms of his superstardom when it, when you saw it how he performed in the playoffs and now Saturday this brother comes out drops another 30 31 with a triple double and now finally we hearing well Kawhi Leonard may spend some time guarding him well duh where the hell you been the fact is is that he's the dude that came to L A. To take over. He's the dude that said the crown with the new balance commercial and the, co and the convertible is the new sheriff in town. Okay? That's him. Clippers didn't show up. Forget all of that. That happens. All right, fine. We look at Paul George and Kawhi Leonard as stars in this league. And Kawhi Leonard is a superstar in this league. Not just because of what they do offensively. Because uh, they play on both ends of the floor. Paul George can lock you down. We've seen him do it, all right? Kawhi Leonard can lock you down. We damn sure have seen him do it, giving it to them. And we all know what Dallas is without him. Why would you not prioritize stopping that brother? I'm sorry. The Dallas Mavericks, if the Clippers don't win game two, Siri, Clippers losing this series. Uh, look, I, I believe they're, they're going to win game if, two, if the but they is, better. If the question is who's going to look worse losing their first round series, then I'm with you. You got two-way wings, LeBron and Wade, Jordan and Pippen. You get paid to show up now. I'm not even going to debate that. But who can least afford to go down 0-2 is actually the Lakers. They can least afford. Like, Clippers lose home court to a team that gave them problems in the playoffs last year. Lakers already didn't have home court and lost game one. And that was with a compromised Chris Paul. Compromised Chris Paul. No, the Lakers are playing in the Suns a better team. And I thought Dallas was going to be better than they were this year. There was, you know, COVID issues and, and Porzingis injuries, as always. The Suns, I thought, were also going to be very good. And if anything, they were even a little better than I thought they'd be. The big question mark on that team was, ironically, their number one overall pick. The DeAndre Ayton, who was already pretty good. But that was like, but how's he going to deal with Anthony Davis? Pretty good game one. I mean, at least game one. Forget about how AD will respond. Like, right now, Ayton looks real. And that's on a team with a backcourt like Chris Paul and Devin Booker, and they already have home court, and now they won game one? No, the Suns should have never been a 3-1 to one underdog in this series. 7-5, to 8-5, to five, something like that. Not even 2-1. to one. And now they won game one? The Clippers will look worse if they lose to the Mavs, but the Lakers can less afford to go down 0-2 to a higher-seeded team and a better opponent than the Clippers are facing. You know what? You know what's crazy, Max, is that I'm down here in Austin, Texas, right? And I was down here for an AAU tournament coaching my son. And while I was at the gym, a lot of people came up to me and they said, hey, man, why do you pick on Max so much? And why do – give Max a break. And then you come on here talking like this, and I can't help myself. <laughs> because for the simple fact is that you, of all people – know that the Clippers cannot afford to go down two to the Dallas Mavericks because you have been on record saying last year if Brazingas didn't get hurt, what did you say would have happened, Mac? Dallas would have beaten him, obviously. Oh, okay, cool. So with Brazingas and now Luka has the confidence that he has against the Clippers, by the way, everybody's showing the monster highlight dunk that Kawhi did over Kleber and all that, and I get it, Right. But nobody saw how Luca put Patrick Beverly in the dungeon and talked noise and said he's too uh small, too bleeping small. 
Luka has the confidence against the Clippers. By the way, the Clippers, they lost two games to get the Mavericks. You don't think the Clippers, I mean, to get the Mavericks. You don't think the Dallas Mavericks have a chip on their shoulder going in there saying, hey, this is what y'all wanted. We about to give y'all everything and more. The role players are not scared of them. Porzingis is not scared of them. Right now, the Clippers.